And so he hooked up with some people studying how much variation is there between teachers, between say the top quartile, the very best, and the bottom quartile. How much variation is there within a school or between schools? And the answer is that these variations are absolutely unbelievable. Uh, a top quartile teacher will increase the performance of their class based on test scores by over 10% in a single year. What does that mean? Well, that means if the entire US for two years had top quartile teachers, the entire difference between us and Asia would go away. And within four years, we would be blowing everyone in the world away. So it's simple, all you need is those top quartile teachers. And so you'd say, well, wow, that's good. We should reward those people. We should retain those people. We should find out what they're doing and transfer that skill to other people. But I can tell you that absolutely is not happening today. What are the characteristics of this top quartile? What, what do they, they look like? You might think, well, these must be very senior teachers. And the answer is no. Once somebody is taught for three years, their teaching quality does not change thereafter. The variation is very, very small. You might think, well, these are people with master's degrees. They've gone back and they've gotten their master's of education. This chart takes four different factors and says how much do they explain teaching quality. That bottom thing, which says there's no effect at all, is a master's degree. Uh, now, the way the PACE system works is there's two things that are rewarded. One is seniority, because uh, your pay goes up and you vest into your pension, and the second is giving extra money to people who get their master's degree. But it in no way is associated with being a better teacher. Teach for America, slight effect. Uh, for math teachers, majoring in math is a, a measurable effect, but overwhelmingly, it's your past performance. There are some people who are very good at this, and we've done almost nothing to study what that is and to draw it in, uh, to, to replicate it, to raise the average capability, or to encourage the people with it to stay in the system. You might say, well, do the good teachers stay and the bad teachers leave? The answer is, on average, the slightly better teachers leave the system, and it's a system with very high turnover. Now, there are a few places, very few, where great teachers are being made. A good example of one is a set of charter schools called KIPP. KIPP means knowledge.